This is Andy Purawa for Boxing Social in association with Betfred and I'm delighted to be joined by Sophie Eilish, the rising German star of women's boxing. Sophie, first and foremost, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Good to hear. Now, obviously, you're, you're getting ready for your fight on Saturday night, a big fight for yourself on a big undercard of the World Boxing Super Series quarter, sorry, final. How does it feel to get back out for the first time after lockdown? Yeah, I'm really happy uh, to box there and happy to box. Uh, yeah, my last fight is one year ago and uh, now to step back into the ring. Uh, yeah, I'm really happy. <laughs> How have you found the last few months um, with the pandemic, with the coronavirus? How has it affected you and your training? Yeah, of course, it was a really hard time for everyone. Um, I'm very lucky that I opened my own gym. And I'm very lucky that I can train there. And yeah, I'm, yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on my English. <laughs> no, that's okay, that's okay. Um, I understand everything, but to speak it's a little bit uh, hard. I know everything, but <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> I'm sure you're not the only one who probably doesn't understand my accent. <laughs> Um, moving forward, uh, talk to me about sparring. Was it easy or was it difficult to get sparring partners because of a pandemic? Uh, I had a, I had a really good training camp, uh, training camp, and I had really good sparring partner, uh, German champions, and I sparred only with boys, and they were really good boys, and uh, yeah, it was not easy for me. <laughs> I've been speaking to uh, a few people at Sauland. I spoke to Nisa Sauland yesterday and he said that you've been um, certainly uh, dropping a few of the boys. You've been not necessarily knocking them out, but you've been putting them on the floor during sparring. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw the video. <laughs> I must laugh. <laughs> it, was, it was, yeah, beautiful to hear. <laughs> um, moving forward again, uh, talk to me about Saturday night and your opponent. What do you expect from Adina on Saturday night? I have respect for uh, every opponent. They step with me into the ring. And uh, I saw a lot of fights from her. She boxed against good opponents, Michaela Maya, Amanda Serrano. Then, of course, our other German woman, Nina Meinke. Yeah, and I saw a lot of fights. And yeah, we have a plan. And we will see what it goes. What, what, it goes. Type of, what type of style do you think she'll bring to the fight? How do you think she will approach the fight? Um, I think I'm a, I'm a fighter like I, I like to pressure, pressure the other opponent and maybe she is then on the back foot. Yeah, and then I have the control that's better for me. But of course, I'm also very, uh, yeah, I can box a lot of styles. Also, when I'm on the back foot and also when I go a little bit pressure more. Do you feel any pressure on yourself tomorrow night? Your first fight in around a year, you said earlier. Uh, we've seen some brilliant female boxing since boxing's returned as well. Is there a pressure on you to deliver a good performance? No, no, I'm, I'm feeling well. I'm feeling very good, good prepared. And it's for me a big chance also to show uh, other people and also my promoter what I learned in this time. And yeah, I'm really happy uh, to box there on this, uh, yeah, on the World Boxing Super Series, on this undercard. How do you feel boxing behind closed doors? What do you make of that? And how do you think the atmosphere may affect you? Um, for me, it's no problem because when I'm in the ring, I only see my opponent and I'm there to box. But yeah, of course, um, with people, it's a little bit more better. They motivate you more, but uh, I think I'm there to box. And the people who are watching on TV, <laughs> Once again, to refer back to my interview with Nisa yesterday, he said that maybe within two or three fights he can see you challenging for a world title. 
do you see about yourself? Do you feel that maybe within two or three fights you're ready to challenge for a world title? Yeah, I'm feeling ready. Um, of course, um, I can only say to my promoter and my management, I, I want a world title, or I want to box. Um, yeah, that's the only thing. I'm a boxer, I'm, they can put me in the ring with everyone. I, I'm, uh, I'm a boxer and that's for me no problem. And yeah, maybe next year, <laughs> we will see. What does, it, what, um, what does it mean to you to hear those comments from your promoters to feel reassured that they can see you reaching those goals within, uh, say, a year? Well, I'm really honoured. I'm really happy to hear such so big words from my promoter. And also, it's for me a motivation, of course. And not, not a pressure, of course. It's only motivation for me. We've seen that you've got a big social media gathering now. You've got a lot of followers starting to follow your journey. Um, throughout your career and as you progressed, you gain more success. How do you stay level-headed? How do you make sure that the success doesn't influence you as a person? Um, can you tell me one more? I'm a little bit now. I must think a little bit more. <laughs> how, how do you make sure that when you're successful, it doesn't impact you as a person? It doesn't change your mindset it doesn't make you take your eye off the goal yes of course um i'm always humble always uh it was uh, every time like i'm i'm the same person and of course when i saw uh, when i see on my instagram i i don't know this follower uh, i'm really happy because when i uh look back maybe i don't know four years ago there was nothing and now I'm, yeah, a really, I'm really not high person, but now I'm, yeah, a little bit more, uh, I don't know how, it, how you call it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. What, what do you make of women's boxing at the minute and the buzz around it? What do you make of the, um, how well women's boxing has been received by the public? Um, yeah, we saw in the last fights. Of course, good women's fights. We had uh, Natasha Jonas against uh, Terry Harper. That was uh, really a, such an amazing fight. Both boxers are really good. Terry Harper is, yeah, was also an amateur. Um, physically very strong. Natasha Jonas also, but she had more this experience. You see it because she had a great amateur career. She was on the Olympian Games also. And yeah, that, that, I think that was a fight uh, where women's boxing is now standing. And also with Katie Taylor, she shows where women's boxing now and the good amateurs now coming to the pros. And uh, I think that's a very good step. And now it's the chance, I don't know, from the promoter to show the world also women's boxing. Just a couple of fights. I want to ask you one uh, in women's boxing, yet to be confirmed, but Terry Harper versus Katarina Fanders. When it is confirmed, what do you make of it? How do you think the fight will play out? Mm, I don't know. Both boxers are very good. I know Katarina Fanders. I saw her. Uh, she boxed, I don't know, uh, after me in the last uh, card. And I saw a lot of fights from her. And she's very good terry harper also i like both boxers very very much um but um 50 50. i cannot i cannot say yeah that's a better boxer uh, or she's winning i'm yeah 50 <laughs> 50. Uh, another fight i want to get your thoughts on uh, jessica mccaskill versus cecilia brackhaus number two how do you think the rematch will go Mm, I will say now Brackus. She will come back stronger and she will say, ah, now that are my belts. <laughs> Sophie, I will leave you now to enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you for your time. Before I let you go, what would you like to say to everyone who watches our interview? <laughs> so, um, I want to say thank you very much. Also, I don't know, the whole people, they follow me on my journey 
And of course, um, you will see you on Saturday. Good fight. <laughs> Sophie, thank thank you for your time. Good luck on Saturday night, and I'm Thanks sure. Thank you very much. Thank you.